This faction of Labour Party controlled by the man with the white beard, what be that name? Apapa Lamidi and uh, Abayomi Arabambi. <laughs> Omo, these people don't get one recent press release and what did they talk for there? You know, good. <laughs> They say the faction of Labour Party controlled by yeah, what wait to be this man name uh, the chairman lawyer to Peter Obi. Uh, the faction that is being recognized by Peter Obi. Say the chairman of that party, that faction. What be this guy name? I saw on the screen. I can remember his name. Say this guy they finance terrorism from the money that was contributed by the general public of Iwemado for Labour Party to win the last presidential election. Say the remaining of that money. Say this, uh, <laughs> this uh, chairman of the authentic faction, where all of us know. Say if they use them, finance uh, terrorism. I get plenty of things to talk about. Make one first here. Abayomi Araban be first. I'm waiting him guys talk on top of this matter. Go watch. There have been complaints all over Nigeria about terrorism. And we are also calling on the President, President Bola Tinumbu, the Economy and Financial Crime Commission, the Desire General of Police, and the DSS, that Abure is also using our bank account to fund terrorism. Because of late, Mr. Peter B has been trying to unify the party. Mr. Peter B has been, you know, on top of the situation. To unify the party. But Abure kept all this thing to himself. The Fidelity, the Fidelity Bank account, 41500-52398. Zeni Bank, 1213-704059 should be investigated by the authorities. This is where foreign donors donated money for the Labour Party, which they are now using to fund the stabilization project of Nigeria to cause violent overthrow of civil administration and also to fund terrorism. I repeat, Fidelity Bank, 41500-52398. Zenith, 12-13-704059. <clears throat> These are the accounts that Bure is using to fund terrorism and that must be investigated. And we're also calling on Mrs. Solushi Okwara the treasurer of the Abure faction to provide detail of this account. We beg her to provide it to Nigerians. All of you will be shocked at the manner of people Abure transfer money to. And what exactly is that money meant for? What are they receipted for? Do they bid it for any contract? Because where you are transferring 100 million to an individual, what for? They were just trying to do that to destabilize Nigeria. That is function of bullying. Because I don't see any reason why a present candidate that is having an issue with a faction and trying to say, okay, let us come together. You are bullying now say, no, you don't want any peace in the party. It was because it's profiteering. So we are going to exonerate Mr. Obi from all this. He is not part and parcel, but Abure and Ojuku, Clement Ojuku, they are the brain, you know, behind it uh, for funding. So, uh, I will also plead for the police to protect that woman, Olusi Okwara, because once this press statement is out, she might be silenced. Because we knew what is going on between them now. She's ready to provide information to Nigeria so that at least we can have peace and stability in Nigeria. <clears throat> When I hear him, uh, make I talk this thing. You know? I love the fact that he said Peter Obi is exonerated from his claims. That Peter Obi is trying as much as possible to unite the party. But that this other chairman of this faction, no one to make them unify the party. Why? Because he is using funds from the party to sponsor terrorism and to do things where he won't do. When I also hear the valid question we ask for that, say, why? This other chairman, why this guy name come off of my head? Eh? Why I forget this guy name? Say this man now, 
Say why on earth will he transfer hundred million to a personal and individual account? Hundred million. Uh, say me they go investigate a court two account numbers, one belonging to Fidelity, the other one belonging to Zenith Bank. May they go investigate them, say the transactions will happen there. Say now where this other faction chairman of the party they from you know sponsor terrorism and the rest of them. Where do we no go here on top this Labour Party matter? Eh? At first we thought that eh, this Arabambi and the uh, uh, Apapa faction they have been bought over by the Tinubu government so that they can destabilize the Labour Party. Eh? Tinubu has been sworn in. He is now the president. Nobody is clamoring for, hey, not sweating to be in. No, we have gone past that stage. So, to is now. So, what is still holding these two people, Arabambi and Ababa, from defecting to the APC where they rightfully belong? Because we know some idea they They just be asking Labour Party, Labour Party, you already hear me. What is keeping them from defecting? Hmm? You said you are exonerating Peter Obi, but you are indirectly indicting Peter Obi. Because that is the faction of the Labour Party that Peter will be recognized and Nigeria as a whole recognize. Eh? What are you This your claims where you don't talk all this why you go come out you say Peter will be first certificate to oh, you they using younger brother certificate to do this one no oh, that one that one don't pass. Now 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 terrorism oh, they they use a, a Labour Party account they do terrorism oh, they finish. Ah. I am I am Arabambia Abayomi. Which other one are you coming up with? Is the Tinubu government still bankrolling you? Because I don't understand. Eh? I know if you know what if, if you guys are really interested in making peace and coming together, when I will come together. But it's very, very clear. Forget this way they talk, say eh, now this other guy no one may peace. If Una won't come together again as a party, I'm talking to you, Una will come together. But because you are still receiving stipend from somewhere, your own assignment is just to make sure that this Labour Party does not stand. You destroy it with every fiber in you. I don't know whether that jealousy they worry you. I don't know. But whatever it is, Kukuma go and join the APC where you'll be appreciated. Gano there, come back and give me some money. No, no, whether they will give you minister or look at government chairman or counselor. Anyone, go. Don't be an enemy within in this party. Hmm? If the party is bad, we go no. No be Nigeria should be. We go no, but relax. Every party have their own issue. They have people that will never be pleased with what they are doing. So they will come out and talk. On the end. But whenever on a case, don't reach to the matter we be say they wanna what they call them National Executive Council. When I will come together, you understand all the local government chairmen of the Tatsi State, their secretaries, uh, and the national body come together. And they will see say there is fracas. We will not say the party don't go. But this one will be saying that just faction, just from there, they speak your own, they come. Nobody will take you serious because they will say, eh, and because say you be the faction with the minority. So they will not take you serious. Zuguanike, go and join APC and cash out. I will see you later. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igbo land, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe, and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. A majestic, robust, and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocent Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocent Ijele, Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.